I am, this is gonna be one nuts ass video. Hi, I have an exciting mystery haul to go through today. It is Bare Minerals. They had a mystery sale recently and I believe I got all the mystery, but I haven't opened it yet because we're gonna do that here and now. So these mystery boxes, wouldn't be available anymore because they they'll put up these mystery boxes and you have like a day to get them but i hope it would give someone an idea of what it's like to get one of their mystery boxes so that the next time they roll it around maybe this video could be helpful in deciding whether you want to dive in or not you can get their stuff at like such a discount like it's definitely the least expensive way to get their things but obviously not only do you not have choice in what you're getting you don't even know ahead of time what you're getting so yeah <laughs> let's open them up and see what i got we got this big box because this last one i think they had three different mystery sets like face eyes and lips and I just went for it and got all three. Enjoying the mystery. Let's find out. And I open it up. This is definitely not the first time I've ever done any of these from them. Like, I've definitely done the mystery sales before. And I've liked them. I mean, if they didn't like them, it wouldn't be getting this one, right? But I will say that sometimes they can set them out kind of close to each other. And if, like, you're always going for it, it can feel a little, like, samey. Like, I kind of felt like I was just seeing the same stuff. So maybe you don't want to get every single mystery box. Maybe it's just for the time when you're like, yeah, I want a mystery refresh on my makeup and to see what they send me. Inside. Woo. It says, thank you. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Thanks for giving your order a beautiful home. That's adorable. It's a very cute card. And then I have my little receipt. Oh my God. Once I take the, look how empty this is. Once I get all that out. Look, <laughs> why is this box so huge? Oh goodness. Okay. Let's start with the bag, right? It's in this envelope. Gorgeous on the double. Or just on the double. Oh, it's a four-piece eye collection for two must-have looks. I feel like maybe this was like a thing that got like thrown in along with the mystery because they just keep upping the deal. So we've got these. Oh, this is different. This is a long wear color prime brighten smooth protect pure color amazing benefits. Oh, here we go. And now I'm looking at the front. <laughs> it's, uh, cream eyeshadow with an SPF of 15. It's kind of random. Five in one BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. Let's check it out. How come it doesn't have a shade? Oh, there it is. Luminous Pearl. I'm not going to go through it too fast. That is opaque and pearly. Wow, that's impressive. It's interesting. That's interesting. I'm not sure how I'd use it. I mean, maybe as like a brow bone highlight. I can try that right now. See if it works that way. I don't know how you would use this. I'm a little confused. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. It's got me just not knowing. Because the white, it's so white. It's so white. And I, I just, I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the day. Oh, I have two. I do. They are all the same thing. Man, I am not doing well. Okay. So these are two different colors. There's Smoky Espresso and Rich Caramel. Although Smoky Espresso looks gray. Let's check that out. If I went and I got an espresso and they handed me a gray cup, it would be like, <laughs> you just get a bit like, whoa, <laughs> that's not the color of espresso. <laughs> I don't think I should drink that. Okay, it's a little more brown, but the packaging is just like gray. <laughs> it's a very, it's not a good looking espresso. It's a really pretty color. Actually, I think it would be a really nice eyeshadow, but that would make one bad espresso. And it blends really, okay, I'm excited about this one. I don't know about that white pearl one, but this one looks really pretty and that blended really pretty. And I'm going to use this ASAP. That seems really nice. Let's check out the last color. The rich, oh, not caramel. If I said rich caramel, that was 
wrong. This is not rich caramel, as in a delicious rich caramel. This is rich camel, as in a freaking camel that has all the money. Just as one rich camel. <laughs> camel is loaded. <laughs> oh, God. Invite him to the wedding. That camel is rich. You're going to get a great gift from that camel. He's not even concerned about fitting through no needle eyes. He's a rich ass camel. <laughs> I am cracking myself up. This is sad. Okay, rich camel. Yeah, I mean, those blend really nicely. This is a very, um, for me, it's kind of like a buff, bronzy kind of shade. But for other people, if that's your skin tone, it would be like a skin tone shade. And um, it seems pretty. They both seem really nice. I'm excited to try them out. I like these kinds of eyeshadow products. That's exciting. And then there's also... A little brush, which I'm going to assume works great. It's called the Detail Shader Brush. And I bet it's just the bee's knees when it comes to those eyeshadows and blending them out. Yeah, it's that kind of like smooth, plasticky kind of bristles that can, you know, really kind of pack down a wet shadow like that well. So, yeah, it seems really nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So let's keep digging in the box. I think I got another one of these eyeshadows. Okay, let's check that out. Elegant taupe. It's an elegant taupe. It's a pretty taupey shade. Yeah, these seem nice. I'm excited to use them. The pearl to me, I'm not sure how much use anyone would get out of that shade. It seems a little weird, but the other three seem really nice. All right, what else we got in here? Like, I think it was supposed to be in bags. I don't know. Okay, I got two things that stand out to me for the skin. So let's check that out next. I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. Okay, that's kind of exciting. I've never tried a serum or a liquid bronzer. I feel like I never really understood, like, how to use it before. And I don't know, more recently, I feel like I'm seeing some appeal and I want to try one. So I've actually been looking at this product, like, to get it. And instead I got it in a mystery box! Feels really liquidy. I need to shake it, because there's an image that says... You gotta shake it. It's kind of like the bottle for um, their serum foundation. Yeah! That looks kind of nice and bronzy. Oh, this will be fun. This will be an exciting thing to try. Yes, it will. I think because, like, my skin's been really dry lately, and I've been, like, having issues using too many powders and not liking the way it looks, but still wanting to, like, be bronzed up and stuff. So that'll be exciting to see how that works for me. Also, you could, like, you know, mix it in and just, like, make your foundation or just, like, a lotion and stuff more bronzy. So that seems exciting. Okay, what's this other thing? It's a skin rever upper. What the heck is that? It's an invisible multivitamin complex. Contains a special blend of glycolic and salicylic acids. It's not a good sign for me. And botanical extracts designed to re-energize your complexion, continually smoothing out the skin's appearance. Skin will appeal clearer and healthier while providing for flawless makeup application every time. Apply under moisturizer or wear alone, day and night. Hmm. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a spray. I didn't see that coming. No, it's not a spray. It's a pump that was pretending to be a spray. Yo, sneaky minks. All right. It looks lotion-y, like a thin lotion. So I think it would just be like, you know, one of the steps you'd put in your skincare. It's got a not so awesome smell, but it's not strong. I mean, I had to get pretty well up in there, but that's not going to smell good. Um, it just smells like kind of when a product is unfragranced, so it's not like it's got a stinky fragrance. It's just a totally unfragranced product and that can kind of smell. Yeah, I don't know how suited that would, this'll be for my dry skin, but I'll still totally give it a try and see, you know, I can be surprised. Mystery box! Let me remind myself what the mystery I was buying into was. Let's see. I know that was like face, eyes, and lips, or at least I think I know that. <laughs> Bye. All right, all right, all right. 
It said it was seven piece lips, six piece eyes, and five piece full face collection. And then the thing that I opened up earlier was the mystery eye kit. Okay, so it's supposed to be five full face collection pieces. And we've seen two. So let me see if I can figure out what the other three are supposed to be. Like, it's weird to me that it was just all shipped together. I expected it to, to be more separated. Okay, that's a face thing. Oh my god, this is gonna be so exciting. I'm cheating and looking, but I'm trying to figure out what the heck. I don't know what the last face thing is supposed to be. Oh, it's this. I'm being silly. Got it. Five face things. Five. Okay, let's go to this because I already have one of these brushes, but I'm not gonna lie. I am not disappointed to get a second. Let's open you up. This is the Perfecting Face Brush. Now, it is a little peculiar. I guess you could use this with the bronzer, but I'm like, they didn't really give you something to use this with. Because what this works well with are liquid products for your face. Okay, it's got, it's the brush with the little pocket in it, <laughs> little pocket hole. And um, yeah, you can put product in and then buff it out. I actually use this today on my face. And it's kind of like the first face brush that I've really liked and fallen in love with. I otherwise will use my fingers even, or primarily I'll use like a beauty sponge. But, um, you know, those don't give you the fullest coverage. And so this will give me a fuller coverage. I do like the way that it buffs out. Whereas other brushes, I think maybe just, you know, with my skin type, my skin's kind of dry. It just doesn't feel like it really buffs the product into my skin well enough for me to be pleased with the results, but this one does, and now I have two, and you need multiple. You're gonna need two. <laughs> I just mean, like, once you use it, like a brush like this, like, you really need to clean it more regularly than you might some of your other kinds of brushes. So that's pretty good. Cool. The other two things I have... I've got this Pop of Passion Blush Balm in Berry Passion. Let me see. I know I have another one of these. It might be a dupe for me. All right. Excitement because the shade that I had was different. So what I had before was Petal Passion, and now I have Berry Passion. Not surprisingly, this one's more berry toned. <laughs> this one's more petal toned? No, but maybe pink. So these are nice products to be honest i haven't used it a ton it's kind of like a it's like a cream blush and i think we all know that they're not necessarily the well, 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 well. they're not necessarily the blushes you're going to use the most it's just i don't know you just don't use them as often <laughs> maybe i sound crazy hopefully somebody knows what i mean you just don't reach for them they don't like flow into your makeup doing as well but that doesn't mean that they're not nice. It's nice to have. Definitely not something I would have just bought, though, because I know that I'm not going to use it a ton. But the way that you'd use it nicely would be for, like, a really low makeup day. Maybe you don't even really put on foundation at all. And you could just use this. It's kind of almost a Vaseline-y feeling product. And it blends, like, really nicely into your cheek. It would just give you a little flush of color for a really low makeup kind of day. I mean, you could even, it could be really cute even just like going to the beach, like really no makeup and you just want like a little color just to look pretty and young and alive. <laughs> so that's nice. And our last face product is the Mineral Veil, but it's in medium, which is interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it's something that like maybe I could use as a bronzer or if they're just like, sorry, it's not for you, but you get it. Their Mineral Veil is a really nice product. Um, it's like a finishing kind of powder. There was a time where my norm was, I can never open these packages that they do. I, like, I, it's sad. I don't want to be that kind of woman, but like a woman, like, like, as if I can't open a jar or something, I always have to bring these and be like, honey, open my makeup, I can't get in. They're hard to open to get this little freaking thing off. I don't think I'm going to get in. I don't think I can do this for myself. Maybe too, it's because I don't want to... I don't want to break my nail. I don't want to break my nail opening my makeup. I don't know how else to do this. Look at pliers. Uh, I'll just open it up later. <laughs> I'm going to need help. 
Um, the mineral veil, it's like a finishing kind of powder. And there was a while where what I would do is just wear like a BB cream and then put the mineral veil on top of it. And it just kind of like has a smoothing, evening out, like prettifying, finishing powder kind of effect. Although this one says it's in medium. So there's no way I could use it just like all over the face because this is, looks way too dark for me. Unless it ends up feeling really translucent, then maybe I could... I think the best thing I could use it for would be kind of like a light bronzer. But we'll find out. <laughs> Let's go into the eyes. How many pieces did I say are supposed to be for the eyes? It says six pieces. Now, we saw one of them because that taupe, I think, was with my eyes. But let's see if we can find the other five eye products. It looks like I've got two liners, two shadows, and a mascara. Let's check out the liners. This is their round the clock liner, which I've had in other shades. And this one is 6 p.m., which looks like it's black. No, see, it looks like a really deep purple. But this one is also it in 4 p.m., which looks the exact same. Maybe it's supposed to be a deep blue. I'm gonna check that out real quick on the website because that looks crazy. Those are way, way similar. <laughs> Hey, I found a dupe for product. Just get the other shade. It's a dupe. I would say the newest one that I have, the 6 p.m., looks a little bluer and darker, but dang, those are close. It's okay. It's a really nice liner, and I'm sure I'll use it, but that is weird how super close those shades are. I mean, they're the closest time. There is no 5 p.m. You wear this one for two hours, and then when it's 6 p.m., you put on this one, which is a little darker, and that's what classy ladies do. You gotta put on the darker one. So, the other eyeliner I got, this is a lip liner. What's my other eye product? I think I see it, but then does that mean I got a bonus lip product? I'm not complaining. Although this product is a little weak sauce. <laughs> Look at this little brush. I guess it'd be nice for travel. You've got your liner side. And this would be like a small blender. So that's a teeny tiny, I mean, I guess it could be very purse friendly. Teeny tiny little brush, kind of cute. The mascara is the Lash Domination Petite Precision Brush Volumizing Mascara. Hmm. Should I add some mascara? Check it out. Let's check it out. Who doesn't need more mascara all the time? Oh, it is a little brush. It's a little pokey brush. It's like a tiny little porcupine brush. I mean, I'm wearing so much mascara, I can't super duper detail about the formula, just like throwing it on like that. But I really like this little brush working really well, I think, for your lower lash line, but it's still gonna work for the upper lash line, upper lash line too. Like it's not so small that you wouldn't wanna use it up there. I'm excited to try it, it seems nice. Um, I'm assuming this is not waterproof and it's in the shade intense black. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's put on some of this liner. It's going on really, really creamy, really nicely. But I'm putting, I mean, I'm putting it on over my black liner and there's really no telling that this isn't just black. Are we having fun? Now I have two eyeshadow shades. One is much larger than the other. The big one I have here is Chic Nude, which sounds perfect. Who doesn't need more nudes? Oh, Bare Minerals, help a girl out. Your products are so hard to get into. Kind of like Ikea Rat. Ikea Rat. What am I trying to say? <laughs> kind of like how Ikea gives you Allen wrenches. I need Bare Minerals to give me their equivalent of that to help me get into their products. I'm in. I feel like, uh, you know, a hacker. Like, ah, I'm in. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it just looks like a really nice kind of pearly nude. I think it would be the kind that um, you would just put down first, just all over just to give a nice base to blend everything into. So that's very useful. I feel like I have to have had this before. And then let's check out Sex Kitten. Meow. Looks like a dark shade. Looks like a darkened bronze. Yeah, it just looks like a bronze, which I... Yes, that's a sex kitten, right? They're always known for wearing bronze eyeshadows. So, yeah, two very, like, usable shades. I got bronze on right now. Want to see how this bronze compares to that bronze? Let's just put it on. I'm not. Oh, look, I do have one of their brushes, though, just sitting here. Just sitting here, just ready to be used. 
So yeah, I put the sex kitten on and it is like so the same shade as what I already put on today. I have on the ColourPop Millie and it's like they're so alike. The sex kitten is just like that smidge darker. That's nuts. Those are like the same shade. And um, okay, so what else they sent is they sent a couple like skincare sample freebies in the Skin Longevity line, their Vital Power Infusion and the Vital Power Eye Gel Cream. I'm pretty sure I've tried the infusion before. And I mean, I like their skincare, it's good stuff. So that's exciting to try. So then I got this Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Smarty Pants. I have a little gloss on. I thought maybe I already had it, but I have a similar shade. So I'll swatch that also and show it off. I have the one in Rule Breaker already. These have that minty smell. If you're into it, I don't know, maybe it does a little plumping. Maybe. It's one of those kind of things. Well, do I look smarter? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, they have that minty thing going on. They're nice lip glasses. And then I've got this lip liner, the Gen Nude <laughs> Under Over Lip Liner, and this is in Freestyle. I've definitely had some lip liners from them before, and they've been good. This is a huge lip liner. <laughs> so big. Uh, yeah, it's a very nudie nude. It's a kind of brown, kind of dark nude. That would be kind of dark for me, but it seems pretty. Seems like a lip liner I'm happy to have. It's a true pencil liner. And um, yeah, it's got that kind of classic liner feel. I think it's good. Seems good. Seems good. Okay, we got another marvelous moxie lip gloss. I'm thinking that the other one was like a free sample one and that this is part of the kit. But it's not clear. This is in the shade. I am dropping everything. This is in the shade High Roller. Look at that freaking pink. That's so gosh darn pink. It's like flamingo pink. That's pretty. It's not very opaque looking, but that looks like it's going to be a real pretty gloss. Real pretty. Yeah, they're nice lip glosses. I feel like they stay nicely. Good. It's good. What else do I have here? Everything else is still Gen Nude now, and I've got two Gen Nude Buttercream lip glosses. I have Fancy and Popular. It's such a popular lip gloss. So it's... Yeah, popular is very nudey looking ish. Pretty nude. That looks so pretty. That's like a true nudie nude. That looks really pretty. Now, fancy here is pinker and it appears to have a gold shimmer in it. That's fancy. Yeah, that looks really pretty too. It looks really pretty too. Yay! So much lip gloss. My lips are gonna be so glossy. Okay, I've got a lipstick. Gen Nude Heaven. Radiant lipstick in the shade Heaven. Let's see what Heaven looks like. Oh, nice sleek black tube. Feels real nice. And it looks nude. That's nude. Can't deny it. That's nude. Oh, okay. It does not seem very opaque. Instead, it seems very, like, hydrating and kind of sheer. It seems really pretty. That'll be fun to try. And then lastly, we have a matte liquid lip color, also Gen Nude, in the shade Scandal. I first looked at it and I thought it was Sandal. Oh, you're so pretty. These are awesome. If you haven't tried them, you should. You really don't feel like you're wearing anything. And this looks like a dark nude, kind of like a dark mauve a dark brown mauve nude. That looks darn nice. Darn pretty. So let me remind myself how much each of these were. So the lips were 32. And with that, I got the matte one. I got, I ended up getting like four lip glosses and a lip liner and a lipstick. I think that's a pretty good deal. Cause what is that like? So what's the math? Let's do some math. What is that per piece? That was like four fifty a piece. I mean, they're really nice. I'm happy with them. The eye collection was the six pieces. That one was only eighteen, and the face was thirty. And given that, like, I got that sheer sun product, which I totally wanted. How much does that normally even run for? I think it's pretty close to thirty. Yeah, that product usually is twenty eight. I think they're good deals. 
I think you could lie. You did not have to buy all three. You could have bought any one of them, but they usually like throw in free shipping and gifts and stuff. And I'm not good at saying no to getting all of them. Anyway, that was that. This has been like way too long. I hope that was fun to watch because it was fun to play with. And I think it's time that I should say goodbye. And that's what I should do. So bye. <laughs>